Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Why don't you add some water to the milk? Mother, what are you talking about? I'm talking about like, you know, making more money. If you add more water to the milk, we can make more money. And you know what? Omar cannot see us. Mother, if Omar cannot see us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can see us. This was a dialogue between a mother and a daughter at the time of Omar radiallahu an. And Omar happened to be passing by and he heard this. So he made a sign in that house and he went to his family and he talked to his sons. And he said, listen, there is a righteous woman who fears Allah. There is a woman who knows the meaning of taqwa, which is the fruit of Ramadan. She's conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even though that she doesn't see Allah. But she knows that what counts is not the fact that Omar can see her. What counts is the fact that Allah can see her and can hear her all the time. So he said to his sons, listen, who would like to marry that righteous woman? And if none of you is interested, I am going to marry her. And then Asim, radiallahu an, the son of Omar, married her. And guess what? Who's that lady? Do you want to know? Now? No cliffhangers. You know what? That lady is the grandmother of Omar ibn Abdul Aziz. This is lineage. Righteous people will give birth to righteous descendants. So brothers and sisters, this is the fruit of Ramadan. Have you ever asked yourself, why do you fast? Mm, some people say, um, because I lose weight in Ramadan. And other people, they say, mm, because it makes me feel for the poor. Mm, other people might say, you know, it's a good exercise, man. Like, you know, you give your stomach a break. Listen, these are some benefits of fasting, but you need to understand. We fast because, oh, do you want to know the answer? Oh, okay. Because Allah commanded us to fast, and we're Muslims. And Muslims, we say, we listen and obey. But the question and the conclusion is, does everybody who fast get the fruit of fasting? That's the question. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us in Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah number 2, Ayah 183, He said, Ya ayyuha ladina amanu. Do you hear me? I know that you hear me. But do you feel the call when Allah says, O oh, you who believe, which is repeatedly used in the Quran 89 times, after which Abdullah ibn Mas'ud says, there will always be a command or a prohibition. So here Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu. So I want you to listen attentively. Kutiba alaykum Fasting was prescribed upon you. كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبِلِكُمْ As it was prescribed upon others before you. Why? What's the outcome? What's the fruit? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you might learn what taqwa is. So that you might have taqwa as one of your characters. And taqwa is nothing but being conscious that Allah can hear you and can see you, whatever you are. It's like this camera. Somebody's watching you all the time. And on the Day of Judgment, you'll be given a record of everything that you have done. So the lesson to be learned from that woman is, whenever you speak, whenever you do anything, always remember that Allah can hear you and Allah can see you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.